have bookshelves. This is so exciting. And in this video, we are going to go through all of my books. Yes, all of my books. And we are going to figure out where they're all going to go. Hi, my name is B. Welcome to my channel, Mama Needs to Read Romance, and also put books on my shelves. This is happening. I'm so excited. I finally have a place to put my books and I'm going to be organizing them by author and genre and we'll see whatever else happens. I'll be breaking them down by series for you as well. I'm honestly not sure how this video is going to turn out, but hopefully it'll be good and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So I guess let's just get started sorting. Let's start with, again, The Magic, the prequel for the Wallflower series. I love all of these step backs. I was so lucky to get so many. This one has a check mark on it, but that's okay. <laughs> I didn't have Devil in Winter, so here we are, Scandal in Spring. Another step back. Now we are in the Hathaway series. No step back there. And then I got these at either Walmart or a sale. So they're two books in one. <laughs> but at least I have them. Now Ravenels. I have a lot of step backs here. I'm very lucky. This is where I remember that I have Devil in Winter, not Devil in Spring. <laughs> so I do have Devil in Winter from the Wallflowers. Gotta put that in the right spot. And I still need Devil in Spring. I always get those two confused. But here we are, fourth book in the series, Hello Stranger. Love, love, love. So many amazing step backs. This one didn't come with a step back, the newest one from like 2021. The, the One of these is a rewrite for the other. I can't wait to read both of these. So excited to have both books of the Stokehurst series. Haven't read any yet, but looking forward to it. I have also all of the Bow Street Runner series. Love the step back. 
and Lady Sophia's Lover I actually have a copy with an alternate ending. So I'm going to keep that and hopefully find the first one. Gamblers of Craven series. Very excited. Check this one out. I love this cover so much and the step back. And that's Derek Craven. I haven't read this yet and I'm kind of holding off because I just want it to live up to the hype. Now this is an anthology, but I'm putting it in here because it's 2.5 of Gamblers of Cravens and I want it there. <laughs> this is the only one I have of the Capitol Theater series. Here's a standalone. Look at the cover and the step back. Suddenly You, a lot of people's favorites. Gorgeous. I love that cover. These are all standalone, by the way. Just gorgeous. Well, that's Lisa Claypus for you, <laughs> what I've got so far. Let's go to the next one I have the most of, probably Eloisa James. So here we have Desperate Duchesses by the Numbers. Well, it's Desperate, Desperate Duchesses and Desperate Duchesses by the Numbers. But they, together, they're like one long series of nine books. I read them all. This was the first series I ever read in romance after watching an interview of Eloisa James on CBS Sunday Morning, of all things. Now, here are the first three books. This is probably my favorite, actually, that one. And I love the step back. I don't have four or five, but this is six. I love that. And then I don't have books seven or eight, but I do have nine. This was a great one too. For people that enjoy landscapes. Now we're into the wilds of Lindo Castle. This is the prequel. I have not read the series yet, but I'm very excited to do so. Book one. I have all but one of the books <laughs> in the series. I just love these. I mean, oh my gosh, the step backs are so gorgeous. That one doesn't have a step back, those stinkers. <laughs> they made it look like it. I don't have book four, but here's book five, Say Yes to the Duke. Book four is Say No to the Duke. <laughs> That's not confusing. And here's book six. Ah, the fairy tale series. I'm going to be doing this one beginning in January. That's Cinderella. Then we have Beauty and the Beast, book two. There's so many novellas, but I only own the novels. Here's The Duke is Mine, book three, based on The Princess and the Pea. <laughs> the Ugly Duchess, based on, of course, The Ugly Duckling. You see a swan in the background there. And Once Upon a Tower, we got Rapunzel, basically. Look at the castle in the background. I'm so excited to get into this series. The Duchess Quartet. I actually have three of the four. That's the first one. We have the second one. This is really neat. I love that she's reading a letter. It's really critical to the plot. I do not have book three, which is a wild pursuit, but that was book four. And then this is part of Woodby Wallflower series. I just read book two that came out in November. Okay, so that's my Eloisa James, what I've got so far. And maybe I'll put something like fancy and fun here. You know, people put decorations and stuff. I'll figure that out. Anyway, let's do my next biggest one, which is probably Julia Quinn. The Bridgerton prequel, The Rokesbees. I've got all four of those. I'm very proud. I have all of the Rokesbees and all of the Bridgerton. Have I read any of them yet? No. <laughs> but I'm going to be in 2023, leading up to the third season coming out. Have I watched it yet? No, I have not but I'm going to be doing that as well. Looking really forward to that. I think I have like one step back for all of these. How many is that, 10 books? <laughs> or no, is it eight? And one step back, there it is. <laughs> is it 12? There's, is it eight in the Bridgerton and then four, so good night, 12. Oh, there's another step back though. These look very 80s to me. The poodle hair and the palm fronds or whatever. Richard Marks is one of the two Dukes of Wyndham. I actually have both of the books in the series, believe it or not. Is it a series if there's only two? Ian Somerhalder is the other Duke of Wyndham. The Bevelstoke series, it's three books and I have one and three. So I need two. <laughs> 
And then this is book four of the Smythe Smith Quartet. I think I'm going to stop just buying random Julia Quinn books. This is book two of the Linden Sisters series. <laughs> and this is book three of the Splendid Trilogy. Well, that's it on Julia Quinn. Now I'm going to put something else on the shelf. <laughs> I have a lot of Stephanie Lawrence. I started out this journey really being excited about her. And so far, as I've read four of her books or parts of, I haven't finished any of them. I'm not quite jiving. This is Bastion Club. You saw book one and this is book four. I have quite a few of her books. This is book eight of Bastion Club. I'm just hoping that I connect with her as an author. For some reason, I just can't sink into the pages. This is book four of the Sinster series. And this is book five. I love the step back. What do you guys think of her? This is book eight. If I'm not able to connect, I might go ahead and donate all of these. This is book 11 of the Sinster series. There are quite a few in this series. And then we have book 19. I really want to like her. Here's book 20. And this is book one of the case book of Barnaby Adair. It's like a mystery. I actually might start here. It sounds pretty fun, the premise, but what do you all think? Is there a good book I should start with? Here is a standalone. Another historical romance author I'm excited about, but haven't really started much yet. Lorraine Heath. I read one of her short stories at Christmas and I loved it. So I'm really looking forward to getting into her. And this is all I've got so far. <laughs> I have books three, four, five, and six of the Sins for All Seasons series. Just of course need one and two. I've heard it's quite good. I want to read that and then oh, Eloisa James's Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> See how they're different. This is number one from London's Greatest Lovers and later on I'm going to realize I'm missorted and I have another one. <laughs> Here's a book two from the Scoundrels of St. James and Rogues in Texas number one. I think this is the only Texas-based book that I've gotten. Now let's look at authors I'm newly obsessed with. Stud Club number one, Tessa Dare. Loving Tessa Dare so much. I bought a new copy of this one. Well, it's still used, but it was a fresher copy. This is Spindle Cove number five, Castles Ever After number four. Love that. And I just remembered that the old Duchess deal I have that I gave my mother-in-law has the nice step back. So now I need that. This is also Castles Ever After number three. I've heard good things about that one. Sarah McLean, this is what I have for her so far. The first two of the Hell's Bells series, I can't speak. <laughs> then we've got Bare Knuckle Bastards. Sorry for the language. This is book number three. And Love by the Numbers number two. Whatever I can grab, basically. Then Sabrina Jeffries, haven't read her yet, really excited to try various series here. <laughs> thought this was supposed to be really good. I didn't get a chance to read it for Christmas, but I will. And there's the Lorraine Heath that I remembered. <laughs> there we are. And that poor little willow tree character. Let's do ones with gorgeous step backs. Thanks to my incredible online friends, I found out about Amanda Quick's step backs. They are incredible. Just gorgeous. This looks like the same woman, I think, that's posed for many of these, which I think is really cool. This one says, please remember to return me. Someone never did. They sold it instead or gave it away. <laughs> these two don't have a step back, but they are Amanda Quick, so they're going in the same area. 
Catherine Coulter, the Countess, I have to say, one of my online friends said, oh, I read that book. And I said, oh, great. It's a gothic romance. She said, well, I read it. I didn't say I liked it. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I don't know if you read it, but I'm excited about it. I love the step back. This one, too. Oh, my gosh. I have not read this author yet, but I'm just so in love with this step back, really. And the cover. Galen Foley, also not read this person yet, but I really like the cover and I've heard good things about this author. Now I will put something fancy in between. <laughs> oh, this is number three of the Silk Trilogy. Don't even get me started on Mary Jo Putney. Oh my gosh. So in love with this. Oh my gosh. I I've only read, and I've seen, this is going to be Historical Hellions, I believe they're doing this, as well as Reckless that I just showed you up on the shelf above. I really want to try to do those book clubs. These are just insane. I can't wait to read more Mary Jo Putney. I fell in love with her. This is book three, by the way, of the Fallen Angels series. But this is, I just fell in love with her after I read her Christmas novella in the bleak midwinter. Oh, what, an, what a writer. This is book four of the Lost Lord series, and it looks like there's a step back, but there's not. Those little stinkers. <laughs> Julie Garwood. This is book two of The Crown's Spies. I've heard fabulous things about that one. The Secret, Highland Laird's book one. And I also have Highland Laird's book two. I can't believe I have both of them. And there is a step back here. If you enjoy scenery, <laughs> then you'll love it. I also, I love the cover on this one too. This is a standalone, as is this one. This is book one of the Claiborne Brides, One Pink Rose, One White Rose. Try saying that five times fast, but I've heard good things. And another standalone. I have a lot of Julie Garwood. This one is another hit apparently. People say they love it. And this is book two of the Laird's Fiancés. Johanna Lindsay, Prisoner of My Desire. I love this hardback and I, because I love the back cover so much. It's like a step back. The thing is, it's not going to fit anywhere, so I'm putting it here. I'm, this is going to drive me absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm going to be up in the middle of the night at my bookshelf trying to fix the fact that my Lisa Clayfa starts with Johanna Lindsay. All right, Melly ba Mary Balog, looking forward to trying her out. Christmas night. These are two Christmas books I did not get around to this past December. Oh my gosh, I've heard such good things. Clan Kendrick number three. Beverly Jenkins, gotta read her this year. It's on my list. And we have All Scott and Bothered, The Devil You Know number two, and Devil in Her Bed is The Devil You Know number three. I really want to read Kerrigan Byrne. My, one, the grandfather of a little boy I tutored made this for me. He carved it himself and painted the feather on top. I love it so much. Let's talk Highlander, shall we? Start with Children of the Mist series, my personal favorite. I have books three and four. Gotta start there. And then her Highland Airs series, this is book five. Book seven. This is just what I could get my hands on. <laughs> and book eight. So far, it's been kind of a miss for me as opposed to a hit or miss. Then we have Highland Brides. This is number one. I have not read Lindsay Sands. Looking forward to it. Here's number two of the Highland Brides. Love that step back. Book four, I'm obviously missing three. I love these covers, oh my gosh. Book six, obviously missing five. Book seven, that's just underwhelming. That's just a disappointment after seeing the cover, come on. Book eight, even more disappointing. <laughs> And here's book 10, I'm missing nine. Book 11 is coming out January 24th, 2023. And I actually got the arc for that. So looking forward to that. This is Deed series number three. A standalone. Another standalone. <laughs> Murray Family number three. Uh, these are really highly rated. I want to buy more of these and read them first. <laughs> number 11 of the Murray Family. Here is a standalone by Hannah Howell. 
Uh, this one was very highly rated, so I wanted to give it a try, as well as this one. I'm not familiar with either of those last two authors, but I'm excited to try. Enjoy the dust on my shelves that I should have dusted while I go into Highlander Paranormal. Here we have Highlander 1, Highlander 4. Everybody's talked to me about this series. I'm very excited to have this many. Number 5 of the Highlander series, number 6, and number 7. I have 8 on Audible, and I loved it. This is part of the Fever series. This is book 2 book three, book four, and book five has a step back. Check this out. This looks really interesting in terms of a series, but also obviously the, the step back. And book six. There are more, but this is all that I have for the Fever series. Then we have the Arjunu series, Vampires with Lindsay Sands. This is number one. There's like 35 Arjuno books, by the way. So this is number one, how I happen to have. And then we have number 27. So there's a few missing <laughs> between one and 27. Then I have number 34, and I don't have 35. I'm assuming there will be more out. <laughs> Here's number one of the McNaughton Vampire series written by Hannah Howell and Lindsay Sands. And here's number three of that same series. Curious to see what those two authors do together. Immortals After Dark, number three, Cressley Cole. I read a pirate book by her, really enjoyed it, looking forward to her paranormal. This is book four of the Immortals After Dark series. Book number five. And book six of the series. The Chosen Ones by Christina Dodd. I believe this is Werewolf. I really like this step back. Want to give this a whirl. And Highland Night. This is a cute time traveling one, it looks like. I'm going to put the purple ones together. Why not? <laughs> Let's talk anthologies. You may have seen me talk about these in my Christmas haul. Oh, I loved that one. I haven't read all of them. Same with this. Really enjoyed these, but have not read all of the stories. Just grabbed that the other day at a book sale. I enjoyed two of the four of those. The other two I haven't read yet. Next December, looking forward to it. This one's gonna be really neat. I'm looking forward to that one as well this year. Fairy magic, looks like fun. I love the hearts and maybe think Valentine's Day. And then we've got St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I think those will be cute. They're not super highly rated, but I'm curious to try them out. And at least maybe one story should be good. Lady Whistledown, a lot of different authors on there. Royal Bridesmaids might be fun for spring. The Lady Most Likely, Julia Quinn and Eloisa James, who could resist? And then Night Magic, I tried that one at Halloween. It wasn't quite to my taste, but I'm gonna try the other stories. These are not romance per se, but I'm using them to push these books up. <laughs> All right, let's talk about contemporary and other. I'm putting all these books up here because these are ones that I either haven't read yet or haven't read in a very long time. They don't really reflect who I am as a reader currently, I don't think, because obviously I haven't read them recently or yet, but I do think that they're all of value and I'm curious about them and so I'm just putting them up on the top shelf um, and we'll get to them at some point. I can't believe I don't know more Jane Austen. I need to work on that. I forgot to show you that's Nora Roberts. <laughs> I just put it right on the shelf. Oh, and I have two Josie Silver, I just realized. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the other Josie Silver, and I'm gonna try to keep them sort of grouped by size, which is just ridiculous. This is just gonna continue to change another take on Jane Austen. Oh, I love this one so much. It's not really a romance per se. Nicholas Sparks, I have more Nicholas Sparks. I don't know why I couldn't find all of them. I wanna read that one too, Love in the Time of Cholera. Kim Grunenfelder, I adore her. Before I knew what rom-coms or chick lit or whatever they called it then was, 
Um, I loved these books. This was probably like 10, 15 years ago. And I kept them all this time. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have read rom-coms in the past. They're so funny. And I'll put the cup I got at a Newsies Broadway musical because it's there. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much what's going to be visible. My head's going to be in the way of this. So maybe I'll put more books that I really love up here. Eventually there'll be books here and there'll be tons of books back here. And I'll just move the chair around. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be constantly evolving and changing. Books that I love that are contemporary, fantasy, paranormal. I have three more I want to put on the top shelf. Down with Love. This is based on the movie. <laughs> Another Nicholas Sparks. I love this one. And this one's pretty divisive. I liked it, but I know a lot of people don't. I don't know. I'm keeping it for now. And I'm going to put it on top. And we come to the contemporary I'm most excited about. This book is coming out January 10th. Oh my gosh, I cannot even wait to talk about it. It was so good. I can't wait to read this one. Just got it the other day. This one is one of my very favorites. For any mom with a new baby, oh my gosh, must read. I am so excited about this one. I've heard about it on Instagram a lot. This one was such a treasure. Thank you guys for recommending it to me. Oh my gosh, and of course this one and the sequel is coming out in April. I already have the arc. Really enjoyed this one this past summer. And then I got more of her books and I wanna read these, this one and then the next one this coming summer. So, and then Happy Place, which is also gonna be coming out, I think this spring. So lots more Emily Henry to look forward to. Speaking of summer, Tessa Bailey. That's one I could grab for a couple dollars, but I'm looking forward to reading more of her. And then of course I've got, now we're talking paranormal, or excuse me, fantasy. Uh, these are the fantasy that I have so far. Still mad at myself that I didn't grab that Court of Wings and Ruin when I had a chance. So here's Court of Frost and Starlight. Don't have Court of Wings and Ruin. And then I've got Cara Bastion. I don't know why I just mixed fantasy in and now I'm back to contemporary. So these are the Yours Truly series, which I cannot wait to tackle this winter or spring i'm gonna do some maybe vlogs about it but yeah can't wait and then lisa claypas just read this one loved it this is the friday harbor series and it's gonna drive me crazy because here we have a hardback large book the first one was a, was a mass market paperback now i have another hardback and then guess what book four is it's another paperback <laughs> so i've got two paperbacks and two hardbacks in one series that cannot continue <laughs> Well, there you have it. It is done. Well, the first iteration of 5 million are done. <laughs> I'm very, very pleased. I'm so excited. And in the coming months, I have two book hauls, one historical romance, and one is going to be a combo of paranormal fantasy and contemporary. And I also have a mystery box of romance novels for my mother-in-law that I need to open. So there's going to be a lot of changes. But this is a great beginning. Thank you for hanging out with me while I did this. It made it much more fun. I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are enjoying whatever it is that you're reading, whether it's on a bookshelf that you just arranged or not. Until next time, thanks so much. Take care. Bye.